Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome to the Gannon Makerspace. And today, we have a shootout between five of the most sought after 3D printers that are currently on the market. The five printers that we're taking a look at today are the Prusa XL, the Creality K1, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, the Prusa Mark IV, and the Prusa MK3S. For the comparison, we printed off five of the same model that we found on printables, which is a 3D printing torture test. We kept all of the settings standard on each of the machines, and these are printed out of Hatchbox PLA. This model is a great test because it has a lot of features that really can be troublesome for a 3D printer. It has steep overhangs, bridging, uh, thin walls, and tall, uh, narrow features that are, are tough to print if you have inadequate cooling. So we're gonna take a look at these and I'm gonna rate them from my personal best to worst. So when we're looking at these five, I'm gonna be looking for overall print quality. Uh, this model has some very fine text and some of our printers have larger nozzles that really seem to struggle with, with this. Um, but for now, we're just gonna look at the overall print quality. All right, so looking at our first one here, um, the text came out quite nicely on the top um, for, for the extruded text. Some of the, the recess text is, is a little hard to read. Um, the bridges look pretty solid. Uh, top infill probably could use a little bit more extrusion rate, um, but for the most part, it's a, a pretty good top layer. The overhang did really well up till about 50 degrees and then started to, to deteriorate from there. Um, it did complete the print, so even at 80 degrees, it, it still printed, but I would definitely say it, it started to, to struggle at that point. Um, the tall, thin features have a little bit of stringing, but they, they all printed in place and, and pretty firmly attached. Um, overall, I'd say that the print quality on this one is, is definitely pretty nice. Looks like we had a little bit of bed adhesion problems, um, but that, that may not have been the printer's fault. Um, so yeah, overall, not, not too bad. All right, looking at our second one here. Uh, the text did not come out very good on this one. So there's just some of the larger font appeared, uh, but the smaller text is, is pretty much all gone. Um, some of the thin wall features here are, definitely look like they're under extruded on the perimeter layers. Um, as far as overhangs go, this really did well up to about 75 degrees, and even then, then they still look really good. This is definitely much better on the overhangs than, than the first printer. So again, here on the second one, the stringing is virtually non-existent on these, these tall, thin features, so that's really nice to see. The retraction settings must, must be dialed in really well. Uh, last thing looking at, the bridges look almost perfect on this one. Um, I, I'd say that those turned out really well. So this has really good cooling. Uh, the overhangs and st steep areas really turned out well. All right, so now for the third one. Um, this one, out of all of them, seems to have the best text. So all of the small text turned out very well. Um, I can read all of the extruded text. Um, the recess is starting to get blurry, but uh, it's still legible. Um, but yeah, this definitely did the, the best on the, the tall single line extrusion of, of text. Um, as far as bridging, there's a, a little bit of sagging on the 25 millimeter bridge. Um, everything under that looks, looks pretty good. For the overhangs, I'd say also about 65, 70 degrees is where this one started to struggle. Still completed the print, um, but definitely starting to notice some um, some bad adhesion on the 80% 80, 80 degree overhang. There's a, a fair bit of stringing between um, the tall features, even uh, between these two here, there, there's some, some wisps, um, but there's quite a bit on the, the smaller towers. Okay, on to the fourth one. This one has no text whatsoever. Um, honestly, doesn't even look like the printer tried to extrude. Um, so I, I'm gonna guess that this is one of the, the larger nozzles, but yeah, there, there's no text. Um, the recess text actually looks really good for, for what it, it did do. Um, the four, three and two millimeter hole tests look, look quite nice. Um, the bridging tests look almost perfect on this one. Um, the top infill is completely solid. I don't see any gaps and it, it doesn't 
look like it's over extruding at all. Then for the overhangs, this looks like it only started to struggle at the 80 degree overhang. Um, the 75 still looks really good and is adhering to itself. Um, so I'd say so far, this is probably the best overhangs um, out of the, the first four. And as far as stringing goes, there is virtually none. Um, nothing here on the smaller towers and just one or two uh, little wisps on, on these bigger towers. So overall, that's, this is a really, really nice print, except for the, the text not being extruded too well. Okay, so looking at this last one, um, the text is, is pretty rough on this one. Uh, it, it tried to extrude, but it's pretty illegible on any of the, the raised up text. Um, the recess text, it's there, but it's almost an, impossible to read. Um, I'm also noticing some of the, the top infill um, didn't fully fill in. So there's a couple gaps in, in the top layer here. Um, quite a bit of stringing between all the, the vertical features. Uh, it did overhangs really nicely though. Uh, I'd say about 75 degrees is where it starts to, to struggle um, with a, a, you know, the 80 degree test here having a, a bit more drooping, um, but it, it still did print those out uh, quite nicely. Um, it struggled a little bit on these tall, thin features. They're, they're not a really consistent size compared to the rest of the, the parts that are printed. Um, it completed them, but they're, they're definitely not as uniform as some of the other prints. So when I spin this around, I, I noticed there's quite a bit of ghosting on the back of the text um, on the, the nameplate here. And as I go through each of these, uh, something, I, it wasn't in any of the other prints, so I didn't really comment about it. Uh, so all of these look really good, but the last one there has significant ghosting on the, the back side of, of the nameplate. Okay, now I'm gonna rate these from worst to best. Um, and again, I'm gonna go by overall print quality, not necessarily the, the fine text, because it's hard to compare that with different size nozzles. Um, so actually, I, I'm gonna say that this was, was probably the worst with the, the extreme ghosting through the back and the, the top layer is not being complete. Next, it's gonna be between these two. Oop. So I would say that the first one over here is gonna be my second worst. Um, the overhangs just really came out pretty poorly on that compared to the other prints. Um, they, they just, I don't think it had enough cooling for, for that part. All right, then the next one will probably be, so I'm gonna say it was the third print. Um, the, the bridging's not quite as nice. Um, there's some inconsistencies on the top layer. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that this is my, my third place. So for second place, wow, it's starting to get, get a little tough um, to, to decide. I think I'm gonna put this one in second place because the top layers are, are not perfect. Some of the, the top infills is not great. Um, and some of the, the text that was extruded into the, the print didn't turn out super well. And then the best one for overall print quality, um, I'm gonna have be, be this one. Uh, the text really didn't do too well on this, but the overhangs are, are perfect. Um, the bridging is, is really good. Uh, top layer is, is solid, uh, just you know, looks like overall a really good print, except for the, the tall extruded text that just struggled on, on that. So that's just my opinion on these five prints. Uh, make sure you let us know what you think down in the comments below, and then stay tuned as we deep dive into each of these new machines. Thanks for watching.